Hello, and thank you for joining us here at the First Alert Desk. I'm Maria Moreau. Of course, fall is near uh, coming soon, and summer has come and gone, and a lot of us are getting back into the groove. Either the kids are going back to school or you're focusing full-time on the office. But in the middle of all that is our homes, and we want to keep them clean and spotless. And to talk to us about that is cleaning expert herself and the owner of Home Clean Heroes of Metro Atlanta, Malia Sharp. Malia, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having us. We're very happy to be here. So I want to uh, let you uh, talk a little bit more about Home Clean Heroes of Metro Atlanta. It's a great cleaning uh, service, a residential cleaning service that you guys offer. But you do a little more than that. You uh, actually uh, create programs that help first responders and survivors and patients with breast cancer. Can you talk a little bit more about uh, the Home Clean Heroes of Metro Atlanta? Of course. So every um, with every cleaning that we have, we actually donate 50 cents to the first responders fund that provides scholarships for firefighters, healthcare workers, children, um, which we love participating in, as well as we also have a program that we sponsor where we do offer free cleanings for people who are suffering from breast cancer and um, also during their process, remission and everything. And another thing uh, is you guys actually uh, you collect 50 cents that goes towards that educational fund. So that's not just for the first responder, that's for uh, their families as well. Is that correct? Yes. So we personally donate 50 cents from every cleaning as a company. And we also allow for anybody's homes that we clean. They are also allowed to donate as well. Um, we think it's a great program and a lot of people love participating in it. And how long have you guys been in the Metro Atlanta community? Um, so we've actually been in the Metro Atlanta community for the last year and a half. That's so great. It's a great experience. And I know a lot of people want to jump into some of these uh, cleaning hacks. So I know the first one that you shared with me, I actually got to try at my own home uh, yesterday, and that was the microwave cleaning tip. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Of course. So as you know, when kids are back to school, they're coming home, they want to get a snack. What you guys can do is actually take a bowl of water. You can slice a lemon in half and place that inside of the bowl. Put it in your microwave for about two to three minutes on high, which will give it a nice a lemony smell. You're also able to leave that in there for another two to three minutes. And then that makes it so it's easy cleanup, get those stains out and you're good to go for the next day. And that's great. I mean, I'm showing this video here and that microwave looks spotless and it only took a few minutes, which is the most impressive part. So that's just one of those cleaning hacks that you guys do. Uh, another one, I know a great at home uh, cleaning hack involves cleaning up fans. I know our fans can get pretty dusty. So what is a great tip for making sure that that's an easier process um, and just getting that quickly out of the way without a, much of a hassle? Yes, so what you can actually do is take a pillowcase and you're going to want to stand on a ladder, make sure you're safe while doing this and slide the pillowcase over those fan blades and you'll pull towards you so that all that dust goes inside that pillowcase. Repeat on all the fans in your house. You can pop that into the washing machine and you're good to go. There's no dust falling. You're not sneezing. Everyone's happy. <laughs> Is there um, another, like for the people that have maybe those floorboards that get dusty or, or different uh, parts of the house that the pillowcase might not be able to reach, is there other things that they can use um, besides a duster to kind of get those, get that uh, dust out of the way without spreading it into the air? Yes, so you can actually take a microfiber towel like this and you can wipe down those baseboards. It's always really good to follow up with a baby wipe or a magic clean eraser, the white ones that you can find in the grocery store. That is perfect for getting up stains that are on there. And when you fall with that microfiber duster, you're good to go. And I know a big, a big thing is making sure that that dust doesn't collect back because it can also introduce unsanitary environments, some germs. Uh, how often should that dusting be taking place? Uh, you should definitely be dusting your baseboards at least once a month. If you can do it every three weeks, that's even better. Um, it really makes it so that it doesn't accumulate and makes it easier to clean the next time. And another uh, tip you kind of shared was uh, a great way, I believe, to clean your table, the kitchen table, uh, you know, the family area where everybody eats. And that involves an iron, or iron and actually a, a cloth, I believe. I'll let you explain that one. Yes. So as you know, when we're eating, we're having snacks. We are placing our 
glass is right there on top of that table and especially if it's wood it's going to make those water rings so what you're going to want to do is take a towel and you'll place the iron on it make sure you're always moving it and only for a few seconds you're going to want to peek under because you don't want to burn your table but that will actually remove that water stain and it'll make your table look good as new that's definitely something I'm going to be trying today because I have definitely experienced some tough stains that I have had to scrub out. Uh, thank you so much. I, I know that a big part of what you guys do is you take a lot of that uh, hassle out and take care of that cleaning process. Um, I wanted to ask you personally, as the cleaning expert herself, what's your favorite part of the house to clean? Mm. <laughs> I think it's the kitchen. I think it's because we spend the most time there. It's usually one of the first rooms you see when you walk into your home. Um, you spend so much time there and a perfectly clean kitchen is my favorite thing. It just makes me feel like the entire house is clean. And I think a big thing a lot of us think of when we uh, think of residential cleaners and cleaners such as yourself uh, is we're like, well, I don't have a hoarding issue, so I don't necessarily need a professional help. But that's not necessarily true. Can you talk a little bit more about the benefit of hiring a service such as yours? Yes, so obviously, as you know, all of us are busy. Um, we have kids in school, we have after school programs that we need to attend to, so we don't have as much time. By hiring a cleaning service, we're able to take that burden off so you can get your Saturdays back and your evenings back. Um, and it makes it so that you can walk into your home on a weekly basis or a bi weekly basis, and it's perfect. And how long does a typical cleaning usually take for your average customer? I would say a typical cleaning takes about an hour and a half. Um, we also send teams of two, so that's why it's a little bit quicker than, say, an independent or one person cleaning your home. Any tips for the person who is uh, trying to do this all themselves to really help them get in a self-motivating groove to start their cleaning process that they know they've been putting on for months? I'm not talking about myself. Um, <laughs> any tips for that? <laughs> um, yes, yeah. so what I would say is, Start in your favorite room of the house. Always go from left to right. That makes it so that you don't miss anything in the room. And just kind of keep on going. If you need to take your time, take your time. But if you go slow, you'll make sure that those rooms are clean and they'll stay clean longer because you're not missing items. Absolutely, Malia Sharp, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I want to make sure that if people want to pursue this cleaning services with the Home Clean Heroes of Metro Atlanta, that they can find you. Uh, what, do you have a website? Where can people locate you guys? Yes, so you can actually go to homecleanheroes.com and you're actually able to put in your zip code and it actually leads you to us and we'll have our phone number on there. If you guys do prefer to call, you can always give us a call at 770-615-0130 and we'd be happy to get you guys scheduled. Thank you so much for your time. These cleaning hacks that I'm definitely going to take home for myself. Uh, I really appreciate having you here. You have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You as well.